Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. So today we are going to be working on an upset square corner. Now I'm going to try to diagnose the best I can for people that have problems with doing an upset square corner. And usually where your problem comes from is the ideal of the upset. Where does that actually take place? A lot of upset square corners, I should say a lot of problems with upset corners come from the fact that you are not starting with the upset. The whole purpose of an upset square corner is in its name. The upset comes before the square corner. It's kind of linked two and two together. Now, the most common method that is taught is that you bend stuff roughly over to 90 degrees and then you use the stock to push that material. But what ends up happening is you start getting a cold shut right in the crook, okay? The material folds or laps over itself and therefore creates a stress riser which becomes a weak point for the corner. The reason this happens is because you did not do your upset first. So the ideal of an upset corner, I could go more in depth and detail at a later date in another video and that's what I hope to do. It'll be a longer one. This is going to be a short one. I'm just going to show you what I'm talking about in practice, the different steps that it takes to produce a very clean upset square corner. So thank you all for watching this video. I hope you'll enjoy it and enjoy the video footage. And we'll, like I always say, God bless you, and we'll catch you on the next one.